the way I describe it to people when people ask me, like, why does he do all these things? Like, what is it? What is the motivation here? I go, he's on a mental journey that very few people have ever been on because the but people don't understand you they or they misunderstand you or they purposely misinterpret the way you're living your life you're trying to understand your mind in a way that very few human beings ever get to understand their mind because you're taking your mind into these terrible dark places all the time and you're trying to pull things out of that you're trying to learn things about yourself and about your potential from that. That's exactly it. And that's what people don't understand. I study the darkness. You, you, you find no fucking answers in the light. None. It's too happy. It's too nice. And, and we're not, we don't need to be taught how to live in happiness. That, that just comes naturally to us. Happy moments. But the dark times, man, you can't, and you can't get there unless you put yourself there. Life will take you there. But when you get into those dark moments, that's why people, that's why people, how, how are you able, man, I couldn't fucking read and write till I was a junior in high school. How are you able to write like this, man? Motherfucker, I go to such places in my mind and I study the darkness. Like, it's not just physical. When I was growing up and I saw my mom getting beat and I got beat and I was some stuttering little black kid in all white school and I'm on stage and I got to say one line one fucking line in front of fucking 15 people and I walk off stage kind of fucking stutter. All those insecurities and all those fucking things, man. I used to go home and fucking cry. I'm like, oh my God, man, I'm fucked up. I'm just all fucked up. I, I'm, I'm, hang on, man. As I got older, we got to study this shit, man. The only way we're going to fucking get through this is if we study it. So every time I'm in a dark moment and life's fucked up around me, whether it be physical or just life, I get in it, man, with a fucking pen and paper. I'm like, okay. This fucking sucks. I can feel like I'm fucking losing my shit. But let's fucking study this. Let's come out of this motherfucker genius. You know, I studied the I studied the 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 black matter of the mind, the dark matter. You know, like fucking Stephen Hawking. That's if that's fucking his name. I said it right. <laughs> that motherfucker studied the space and shit. Yeah. That's where I consider myself, man. You know, I, I was on a journey, like, just like you said. I mean, you 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 couldn't have said it any better. And so many people get it wrong. And I don't give a fuck, man. You can't. For me, I cannot help people. There's a, there's a lot of cookie cutter shit out here in this world. Oh, discipline, wake up early, take a cold shower, fuck this, fuck that, whatever. <laughs> it's all fucking bullshit. It's not. But what they don't teach you within the cookie cutter is like our minds are like a fucking garage. And the garage, you, if you open a garage that's all cluttered up, it's all fucked up, you can't put your car in there. You got fucking boats and you got fucking kids toys and shit everywhere. But if you organize that fucking garage and you put everything in its rightful spot, you can pull that car in there. You can put two cars in there. You can put bikes in there. And that's like with the mind. People talk about discipline and fucking determination and fucking, you know, repetitions and all this shit. Consistency. Why people fall off the wagon so often is because their mind is full of shit. There's no room in that mind for discipline. There's no room for consistency. They may do it once or twice, but then the mind takes over and that cluttered fucking garage comes in. And then it's like a circuit breaker, man. A circuit breaker just overloads and it fucking sparks. And our minds, that's, that's our mind, man. It's like a fucking circuit breaker that has so much shit in it, you keep on loading it, you can't put any more into it. So I've, I talk about it in there, man, so much about clearing space in your fucking mind so then you have room for all those discipline waking up early taking those because they, they they do mean something but we don't get to that fucking dark matter that is keeping you from clearing out that mental garage that's a good way to put it because that is the mind of most people is filled with stuff that they have to move around oh to get to God. what they want and it's constantly piling up and mm -hmm. there's shit unorganized and... Organized mind, man. You're looking at the fucking, I got to take care of the kids. The kids' schedule is all fucked up. My husband, my, my wife, you know, I'm, I, I fucking, I'm going by McDonald's to get this and I, I'm rushing my schedule. Everything's just fucked. I wish I was doing this, but I'm doing that. That's it. And that and this. And I want to raise, but I can't get one. That's it. My boss is an asshole. Where's greatness in that, man? Yeah. You can't, you, you can't fit discipline into that. You can't fit structure. You can't fit consistency. You can't fit the grind. And then when you try, 
it just gets fucking it, it gets fucking overrun by the fucking clutter in your fucked up mental garage. 